Aloha. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this ThinkTech movie review, a review of the movie called Golda. The subject of this movie is, of course, Golda Meir, the Prime Minister of Israel, and how she managed Israel's response to the surprise attack by Egypt and Syria on Yom Kippur in 1973, the holiest of all Jewish holidays, and how she managed the war that followed. If you didn't know it, Golda was born in Eastern Europe in 1898. She had lived in Milwaukee and had come to Israel later in life. She became the first woman Prime Minister of Israel. She was elderly and was undergoing cancer radiation treatment at the time. So here's the track of the movie. After the attack, showing extraordinary leadership, Golda brought the IDF and the cabinet together, appealed for help from the U.S. through Henry Kissinger, then developed strategies that won the war, notwithstanding all the Israeli casualties. Here's the cast of the movie. Helen Mirren as Golda is outstanding, one of her best performances. Camille Cotton plays Lou Kadar, Golda's caring assistant. And Liev Schreiber plays a very realistic Henry Kissinger. That were all believable and compelling. What about production values? The editing, the photography, the color, and sound are top-notch. Sometimes the characters spoke to each other in whispers, as if they knew their words were of historical moment. Although the movie did not create scenes of the battlefield, the use of historical clips brought it all home in vivid detail. Let's look at relevance and ratings. The movie is certainly relevant to the massacre of Israeli men, women, and children on October 7th and the broader war that has followed. Rotten Tomatoes rated the movie at 3 out of 5, possibly for ideological reasons. We feel this is a memorable and important movie, and we have rated it at 9.5 and 10 out of 10. What did we learn? Israel has been repeatedly attacked by its Arab neighbors since 1948. This movie helps us understand the existential threat these attacks pose to Israel and how Golda was able to galvanize her war cabinet, obtain help from the U.S., formulate strategies, and reach a peace agreement with Anwar Sadat. Here's the takeaway. To appreciate what is going on in Israel's war with Hamas, we need to understand the other attacks Israel has had over the years, and this movie helps us do that. We hope many people will be able to watch this movie and learn from it. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this ThinkTech movie review, a review of the movie called Golda. Aloha.